Dwayne from Modern Inc. We're unboxing the Thesis from Rajin Tech. It's a small case in size, as you can see, but they say it can hold an ATX motherboard and a full-size power supply. We're going to have to check that out. All right, this unboxing is just like the other ones. You know, I have not opened any of this stuff up yet. When I open it up, you get to see it for the first time. I get to see it for the first time. Now what I heard is they have a silver and a black case. We'll find out which color this one is as soon as we open it up. But as you can tell the size, I mean, it's actually quite small. So it says it can hold an ATX, a mini, and a micro. So the other two I figured they could probably hold a full size ATX. Uh, it's gonna be, I think, a little tight. But let's find out. So as you can see, on the front side of the box, it does give you some kind of details on it a little bit. Um, again, over on the side, I'm not going to uh, flip it around because it does have the packaging label. It has my address on it, so I won't slide it over that way. Uh, but while I do, it does show a couple of things here about the details on that side. So, I mean, why are we wasting time? Let's open this thing up, right? Again, got my trusty razor knife. Cut this thing open. And what we got is black. Hey, I made it in the box. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, it came with the styrofoam. It looks like it came in one piece, so that's good because it does have glass on this side of it, and it is a black case, as we can tell. So let's take off the plastic here, get a little closer look into this. Okay, plastic off. So, oh, actually, it's glass on both sides. So we got tempered glass here, and got tempered glass on this side. Looks like it has some screws on, on there. It does have a slot for a screwdriver, but you can also do them just with your thumbs. So let's go ahead and get these off of here. Really quite small. Actually, there's only about three threads that are on there, about three or four threads on there. So just the thickness of the glass and it unscrews that and it slides off this way. And it looks like it does either have a film or it's been painted for the black edge, probably to hide some of this on the side. Good thought, don't want to see everything, right? We'll set that to the side. So on the inside, as you can see, it's got the uh, packaging, got the, the manual. I'll show you how to install stuff in case this is the first time for you guys that have done this before when well, you know what to do. But, you know, like most people, you know, do you read the manuals? The only time you read the manual is when nobody else is looking and you're really in trouble and you can't figure something out. But yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, typical stuff. So we'll leave that over to the side. Maybe I can help point out some highlights with the case real quick. Like I said, you do get, looks like there's a bag in here. It's got some goodies. It's a good thing they, they wired it down. So you get a black ties. It's a couple of black ties. You get, looks like also you also get uh, a speaker, and you get some motherboard screws. It looks like you get screws that have some rubber insulation on it for, I'm guessing, for the hard drives and stuff like that. Not bad, not bad for a nice little case. So let's dive a little deeper in this thing. I'm gonna tilt it towards me so I can take a quick look. I can point this out fairly kind of quick. So of course your motherboard's gonna go through here. You've got all your pass-throughs for your wirings and stuff. Uh, there is, already comes with a, looks like a 120 millimeter fan that does come installed with it. 
it does have looks like a filter on the top this piece can come out let's see if we can pop it out real quick so it's got a couple little tabs and it does pop off uh, it is metal with looks like it has a plastic plastic frame around it so you can take this off if you want maybe paint it or do whatever else you want to do to it so that's kind of a cool thing there so it does leave the top completely open it does leave the top completely open like that you're supposed to be able to put a 240 millimeter radiator from the top side of this that's going to be that's going to be crowded <laughs> But it looks like you can definitely you can put a couple of fans up there or you can put a radiator. So nice little addition. Goes in. Yep, sorry. One side goes in first, and then the other side pops in. Not bad at all. So this the, is skinned on the outside. This is aluminum. Looks like it's aluminum, aluminum here. Of course we got the glass. Uh, the rest of the rest of the case does appear to be steel. I think the aluminum is like 1.5 millimeters thick on the aluminum and I think the steel was 0. 0.7. We'll look at it, see what it says. Uh, USB ports on the top. Got 3.0. And of course your audio and your in and outs for that. Looks like you've got your power button. Right? Nobody uses the reset button anymore, right? Who uses the reset button? Uh, uh, nobody. So you get your power button here. You've got your typical I.O. ports in the back. You've got your fan. You've got your cards. You've got your connections. You've got your... Hey! Okay, so... Something's missing here. What's missing? Yeah, I know. Where does the power supply go? Aha! Look at this. It's on the bottom of the case. So that means that the power supply goes in the vertical position, not the horizontal position. So it has to go right here. So it's going to go right by where your motherboard's at. That's going to be pretty close. That's going to be pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and take off this other piece of glass. It does look like though that the glass pieces are interchangeable. Let's find out real quick. They are. So that's good. So maybe if you break one or you want to maybe put a something different on one side than the other or for whatever reason, you can switch them out. So that's pretty cool. Just look at the back side. Uh, looks like you about have maybe a half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. I would I'd say that would be stretched a little bit for some cable management. But with a case this small, you're really not going to put a whole lot of stuff into it. You're probably going to have maybe one hard drive. Um, maybe, maybe two if you do the SSDs and stuff like that. So that's where you can mount some other things back here on the back side. So you can, looks like you're going to be able to put some hard drives right here where these grooves are at. There is a hard drive cage right here. So again, putting in more spaces. Looks like there's also space on the bottom. Oh, yeah, look at that. So you've got some space on the bottom, you can also put them in. So we'll have to, have to figure out about exactly how many we can put in there. Right now it looks like probably at least two SSDs and two regular size hard drives. Very nice, very nice. So the power cable for the PSU, so it plugs in, goes up, runs in, and goes to the back side here. So this is where your power comes in, goes through the inside of the case in the front, and then it does connect to the power supply itself. It has some nice rubber feet on it. That's good for the vibration stuff. 
so far I would say it looks pretty decent. Again, it is nice and small, so I'm going to have to put a, an ATX motherboard in this just to see how it fits. Actually, or, or how it goes. So we're going to do a test run and see how all this stuff fits in there. Um, probably we'll, we'll see, you know, I'll either put like an air cooler on this or maybe what I'm going to go ahead and do is I've got an all-in-one for water cooling. I think we're going to put that in the system as well. That showed how, show you how much space it actually takes up. And how it actually looks inside there so that way you can just get an idea if you want to do some custom water cooling as well. It's probably going to be a little tight I would think for like maybe putting a pump or something in there. So probably an all-in-one is going to be your best bet. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take my stuff, I'm going to put it in there and we'll see how it fits in this case. So as you can see, I do have the motherboard in now, and it is an inverted motherboard. So what does that mean? That means that the CPU is actually at the bottom of the case, and then all the add-on cards are at the top of the case. That's, that's why it's laid out in the back side like that. Imagine that, right? So it does look good. It looks like, as we can see here, that the motherboard does come up to about right here, which is very close, as you can see. Uh, where the power supply is going to be going. The power supply is going to be filling up this position as well. So we get the power supply here. We're going to have the cooling system is going to go here. So your add-on cards, your video cards, etc. are going to go here. So what that tells me is you do have to make sure if you're going to be putting the radiator or some fans and stuff up here that you will be having to use that first slot. Uh, you're probably going to be SLI yeah, quad try. Eh, it might be a little tight. <laughs> might be a little tight. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue on this. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the power supply in. We'll see how that fits in there. Okay, one thing that I've just now that I'm going in, I'm starting to put the power supply in. What I don't like, and I'm sure maybe they just route the cable in this way as it came in, but we're going to have to move it. Is that I'm trying to put the power supply in and the cabling for the, for the I.O. ports and for your USB stuff is actually underneath the power supply here. I um, mean, even though it's going to be up, the power supply is going to be forward by a little bit. It does pass it, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these wires and I'm going to go ahead and probably route them up towards the top because that's where the connections are. Since it is an inverted board, they're not down at the bottom, they're at the top of the case. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure that that gets done as well. Alright, so I'm putting the case together and I came across an issue, probably my fault. Uh, I'm sure somewhere in the instructions it probably says what size power supplies to use. But I decided, well, I'm going to go ahead and use this one that I have. It's a little larger wattage. It's a little older, but it's also a little taller. So what I found out is that not by, by not using a smaller power supply, is that a video card is not going to fit correctly. So you would be putting the card in, in this position, right? Fans up because it's an inverted. But when it does go, try to go into place, you're going to see that it would not 
even fit into the first slot. So if you wanted to, I mean, you could go into the second slot. So I went ahead and installed the video cart. That one in there. It's usually, if it's, like I said, if it's a small one, fit in there just perfect with the power supply that I selected. Uh, I, I do think it's going to be even a little tight, even with the smaller one. But it, it would possibility, I think that your power connections were actually going to be riding on the bottom side of the video card if it's a longer one. To me, that's not exactly quite ideal. So I decided to go ahead and try to put an all-in-one water cooling system in. It's a little older one, okay, I will admit, a little older one, but it still gives you the same idea. And actually, it's been painted white and silver, so this will actually help demonstrate what I'm trying to do and how I'm trying to put it in. These are, of course, my, my test fitting pieces. So this is what I'll be showing you guys probably from now on is using these pieces like this because it actually stands out against all black cases. Putting the black power supply and the black radiator and black fans into a black case really doesn't show you guys that much. <laughs> so actually I'm thinking about taking an old motherboard and just painting it like orange or something so we can put all the pieces in there and you can actually see it. So as I said, I was trying to put in, trying to put in uh, an all-in-one system for the water cooling and well it's, it's not fitting it's not fitting what I found maybe it's just my situation I don't know but so right where the USB 3.0 connection on the motherboard right when you plug it in it's got those big thick cables and the big hard connection point but that's what it's hitting against. It won't it won't go past that. I can't get it to slide past it. I won't can't get it to go around it. There's not enough gap in between that part of the motherboard where the connection is, and then I can put this cooling system into it. At this point in time, um, I uh, for a large size motherboard, I'm probably gonna say no, no to this. I'm I'm not not enjoying this installation of it. I would recommend a smaller size motherboard, mother, smaller size power supply. All right, hold everything. You know, I didn't want to end the video like that. So what I decided to go ahead and do is, believe it or not, you know, I'm, I have a few things left over on the shelves. So I grabbed a, a mini ITX motherboard. Already had a processor and stuff in it, memory. This is what this case should have, okay? It's going to be a mini. ITX. This is what I, I recommend that you put into it because now you've got all kinds of space. So as you can see, I put in a little smaller power supply. Again, it was just, you know, maybe a half inch or so. Fits much better. Full size video card. Fits in there. It is tight. It is tight. You're going to probably going to have to see you know, I don't know what, if there's a standard or where the connection points actually go on to a power supply, but there was probably about a quarter of an inch between this power supply and the end of the video card. If you have power connections that go on the end, then you're screwed, but I can't remember the last time I saw one that was like that. But this is a 1070, so a 1080 is going to fit just fine. Yes, there's plastic on it. I know there's plastic on it because this is actually going to go into another case mod that I'm doing. So. Thanks for the comments. But you can see the much, much more controllable space down here where the where the card is at, right? So you've got plenty of space. You got here's your motherboard, plenty of space there. Everything's down on the lower end. Still not a big fan though of where the air is for the power supply, but that's what you're gonna do. But the big improvement is is this, yes, if you want to do it all in one cooling. Plenty of space now. Plenty of space you can do that. Because I'm guessing it's probably going to come down about to, about to this level. You know what? Let's find out. Alright. So I get, got my mock-up piece here. Yeah. Again, it's gonna, it's gonna be a little tough. So you're still gonna have the pipe, or I'm sorry, still gonna have the, the tubing that goes along. So you're gonna have to figure out how you wanna do that. But as you can see, I can put it in there. It would mount right there. No issues with any cabling, no issues with anything else. Plenty of space in between. You know, trying to put 10 pounds of in a five pound bag 
just wasn't going to work. I, I know they tried to make sure that you could do whatever you can. Again, if you're going to go with an ATX, you can do an ATX, but I would probably use like onboard graphics and stuff. I don't think I would stick a video card in there. If you're going to go with that, then I would probably just stay, again, I would probably just stay away from the all-in-one cooling. But I would go with a mini ITX setup. Plenty of space this way. Look a lot better. Looks much cleaner. Definitely be able to put the glass on this side. Make it look a lot more prettier. I'm still on the fan. Maybe a solid panel on the other side. Because you're going to have all your cabling on this side. But again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. Also subscribe to our channel. Check out some of these other videos.